Hi guys, I am having a lovely day for a bike ride outside, but I saw along the side of the road two flowers. First, Black Eyed Susan, second, Chicory, that I wanted to show you guys because we will be talking about them this year in our art class. So, I'm going to get down here along the side of the road and show you what they are. Here's the first one, and here is the second one. Now, these flowers are super, super, super cool, and both of them are some of my favorite flowers because they're so beautiful and they grow on places just like right here. Now, unfortunately, this means that they do get mowed down a lot and people sometimes think that they're weeds, but they're not weeds. So, Black God Susans, let's take a look at these lovely flowers. These are some of my favorite flowers. Black Eyed Susans are native to Pennsylvania, which means that they grow here naturally. So if we never planted them, they would grow here just like they are right now. And they're so, so, so beautiful. They kind of look like daisies, right? But they're not, they're not daisies. They are called Black Eyed Susans. And you can kind of think, you can kind of see where the name comes from, right? And the stems of these flowers have little prickly bristles on them but they are so, 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 so pretty. Black Eyed Susans are my favorite flower. I absolutely love them. The next is Chicory. Chicory has really thick, sprawling stems and the flowers kind of grow like at the Y of the stems. It's kind of funny how it grows. See how it's not growing off the end. Instead, it's growing off of the actual stem here. Now, Chicory is a really, really, really cool plant because Chicory is a medicinal plant. Now, unlike Black Eyed Susans, chicory is not native to Pennsylvania. It is native to Euro Europe, but it has been here for so, 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 so long that I often think of it in my mind as a native plant. All these people driving by me probably think I'm a crazy person, but I'm just a nature enthusiast to say the least. Anyways, so chicory, chicory, is super, 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 super cool because even though it's not native, it is a very welcome, welcome, welcome flower to our area and it has been growing here and it has made a home here for a very long time. And the reason that chicory is so special is because the root of the plant can be used as a natural medicine for a variety of things, for stomach aches, for pains and nausea, for all kinds of inflammation. Chicory root, chicory root, has been a natural medicine that has been used for centuries. Centuries are hundreds and hundreds of years, okay? Now this has been used by Native Americans, by Europeans, by settlers here. It's used all over the place as a medicine. If you ever go to the grocery store and you get some of the teas that are like natural remedy teas or stomach ease teas or um, immune support teas. Oftentimes, those teas, those natural teas, will have chicory in them. Sometimes medicines will have chicory in them. Sometimes even may uh, makeup products will have chicory, chicory in them. Excuse me. And um, that is because chicory is a is a medicinal plant. It has a lot of um, natural medicinal properties to it to help heal our bodies in ways that. Um, commercial medicine does, but this is a natural plant growing, so it's super cool. So these are, uh, are our Black Eyed Susans and our Chicory Root, both two absolutely lovely flowers that grow all by themselves in our area. So if you ever see them growing alongside the road, don't cut them down, don't mow them down. If they ever see them growing in your, in your yard, they're really, really, really great flowers to have around and two of my absolute favorites. So I'm going to get going on my bike ride now, but I wanted to show you guys these two beautiful flowers that were growing right beside each other. Bye.